what is the first thing you do every day that you wake up? The first thing you do has a role in setting the trajectory of your day. I, I personally, Michelle says, how does one stay in the will of God and die to the flesh on a daily basis? This actually relates back to Lakeisha's question and all for one's question, which is that the more time you spend in the word of God, the more resilient you become, the more resistant you are to sin and temptation and the things of the world. That doesn't guarantee, but you know what? Let me take you to First John and show you what I mean. You're someone, Michelle, that really wants to stay in the will of God and die to the flesh on a daily basis. In other words, you want to glorify God and not give in to the flesh or sin. Now, I could take you to Galatians 5, but First John 2 is what comes to mind. He says, I'm writing these things to you so that you may not sin. Or in other words, I'm writing these things to you so that you may not give in to the flesh, which is going to be sinful. Or I'm writing these things to you so that you may, you know, follow the Spirit of God rather than the sin and the flesh, right? There's a bunch of ways to make sense of this. But in other words, if uh, what he's saying is the truth that John is putting on parchment or whatever he's writing on, the truth he's writing down as the divine authoritative word of God that is sourced in the spirit, that truth becomes a kind of sin preventative. The more I'm submersed, said a word, submerged in the truth, um, immersed, I just combined two words, you can put that in the dictionary. The more I'm immersed or submerged in the truth of God's word uh, on a daily basis, the easier it is, Michelle, to resist the flesh, die to myself, and submit to the spirit because I've, and this is what goes back to what is the first thing you do every day that you wake up? The first thing you do has a role in setting the trajectory of your day. I, I personally want to give God the first moment of me breathing and waking up, the, not that I stop breathing at night, but me being, you know, consciously awake the next day. I want to give God the very first moment and say, God, thank you for, for waking me up, for giving me breath, for bringing me through that death-like sleep where I could have died, but you brought me through that and, and I'm awake to live another day. Thank you. I want to meditate on God and his word and just go through all the reasons I have to be thankful. And that plays a role in, in positioning me uh, to be set up to follow the leading of the spirit rather than the flesh. So, you know, the first thing you do in your day plays a role in the overall trajectory you're set up to follow. So think about that on a daily basis. What's the first thing I do? If it's your phone, if it's social media, if it's messages, if it's bitterness, you, you have to learn how to set all that aside and go, I'm first going to God. First. And by doing that, uh, you are setting yourself up for more victory uh, throughout your day to resist the flesh. All right? Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that and hit the bell so you can be notified of any future videos that come out. And check out AboveReproachMinistry.com. We have completely free Bible study courses, a 40-day program, a 27-day and 11-day program, all kinds of free resources. You can get a copy of my book. You can join our online church. You can get some merch. We have a bunch of stuff at AboveReproachMinistry.com. And it's also linked in the description below. Go check that out. And thanks for watching.